The grace of the Word, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion power of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Friends, what a good and holy gift it is to be gathered together as the community of faith today. If you believe it is a good and holy gift to be gathered together as the community of faith today, would you say amen? Amen. Amen. It is a good and holy and necessary gift that on this week that has been a heavy and difficult week for many of us, we have this community, this community that knows and celebrates and embodies the love of God. The love from which nothing can separate us. Amen. So if you are a person of darker color, or you are a person of lighter color, or a little bit of each, nothing can separate you from God's love. If you are gay, or straight, or a little bit of each, nothing can separate you from God's love. If you are male or female or a little bit of each, if you are younger or older or a little bit of each, if you are a member of this church or you are not a member of any church or a little bit of each, nothing, nothing can separate you from God's love. That is the love that we know and celebrate and share here in this community of faith. And on behalf of this community, I want to especially give thanks for those of you who are here for the first time, those of you who are worshiping with us for the first time, or the second time even, or the third time. If you are here as a newcomer to this community of faith, if you are here as someone who does not normally come and worship with us, you have honored us especially because we believe that each and every one of us is created in God's image. And because you are here, just because you've shown up, Bearing your own unique reflection of God, we at Wisdom's Table have a fuller and more colorful and more vibrant and more beautiful picture of who God is. So thank you for being here today. If you are a newcomer, you might like to know that you should have an order of worship. That will give you everything that you need to know to participate fully in today's worship, and you are invited to participate as fully as you desire. Also, there is a communicator card in your order of worship, and that communicator card we would like for members and friends and newcomers alike to complete so that uh, we can know of your attendance today and you can place those cards in the offering place. You can also record your prayers on those cards and members of the pastoral staff will be praying daily for your intentions this week. This is an exciting day in the life of our community. We have lots to celebrate, even in the midst of what is been a heavy and difficult week and one of those things we have to celebrate is our congregational meeting now i know in many churches congregational meetings are not celebratory but at wisdom's table they are celebratory indeed Amen. we have yes because we have so much life and ministry that is bearing fruit among us and we will be reflecting on that and how we can continue cultivating the soil to bear more fruit in the coming year together there is a full, amazing spread I've already seen downstairs, lots of food. So even if you did not bring something for the potluck, but you would like to stay for the meeting of potluck, you are welcome. There will be plenty for you. All are welcome to stay for our congregational meeting. And if you are a member or an affiliate member, we need you to stay for our congregational meeting because your voice and presence at that meeting is important for our future ministry together. Also, we are celebrating today the right of membership. Today, we have seven new members who are going to be and We give thanks for the great joy that we will share the right of membership with them uh, later in worship. And our community, our body of Christ here has been reconfigured in a beautiful way today. I believe we have one additional announcement from Pastor Henry. Just want to let those of you who aren't aware that we are beginning a Sunday school in the new year of the church, which begins at Advent. So on November 28th, we'll have our first Sunday school for children ages 4 or 5 uh, on up. And uh, we do need volunteers to help with that. We have hired a wonderful young woman named Samantha Walmer, who's going to be the steady 
any person here each week, but we always want to be sure we have two people whenever we're dealing with children. So if you're interested in being a Sunday School volunteer, the more people we get to volunteer, the fewer times you would have to miss worship. So we're trying to get enough that you might only need to be a volunteer once every six weeks or so. So please let me know if you're interested. We have some wonderful children that are coming to this congregation and we're excited to be able to give them a solid Christian education using a Montessori teaching method called Godly Play. Amen. See me if you're interested. Amen. Are there any other announcements from staff members? Or Carol has a I don't know, did you announce anything about the race sale? So the, the bake sale continues from our uh, bake sale we had on Tuesday on Election Day. Uh, we raised over $400. So, yes. And in addition to the wonderful banquet of free food we have downstairs, there will also be remaining items from the bake sale for sale if you would like to uh, purchase and contribute. God in whom we offer our thanks, in whom our love is offered. 